Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to be looking into your situation. Uh, last reading we did, I was getting that there were you had a, you had one or two, maybe more secret admirers. You were, I want to say you were in the Empress energy, or at least similar to it. That's that's what just came to mind. You you know you've been drawing love in a lot recently. Um, I've been channeling this group pretty consistently. And I've noticed you guys are really coming into your power and you're just in this, you're coming into this phase of your life where you're just drawing love to you effortlessly. The last reading we did, I was getting, so there was a, there were a couple secret admirers. I got that there was one ex that might be coming back around and this secret admirer was probably aware of it or was going to become aware of it and they might get jealous and try to step up. Um, you definitely have at least a couple people that have been observing you consistently for a while, probably on social media, or if you guys live near each other, they might be watching you somehow, just kind of seeing what you're doing, seeing who you're with, seeing if you're single, um, you know, just kind of observing you really closely and, and trying to figure out how to make their move. But you're in this very seductive energy right now, so it's really good. Let's see we, where we're at right now. Might, might get multiple energies again like we have been because there's I think there's more than one person, there's more than one potential um, romantic partner for you guys right now because your energy is just so magnetizing right now. So let's see what's going on. All right, so what is the current story for the Geminis that are watching this video? What can you tell me about? What do they need to know about their love life right now? What are the updates? What's going on? Like, what is their person thinking, feeling, wanting? Like, what is the situation right now? Please make, please be clear, be direct. Let the messages come through very clearly so I can interpret them easily. There we go. Okay. Eight cards. Yeah, see, that's, yeah, Queen of Wands and the Empress. Yeah, you're still in that energy. You're still in this very, you, I think you've been in this energy, or it's, maybe it's been like a transition you've been coming into, but you're still in that Empress, Queen of Wands energy. You're just, you're very passionate. You're very seductive. Like, people are just drawn to you right now. Even if you're not feeling like your best right now, I still feel like, there's something about your energy that's just very mysterious and seductive lately that's just kind of drawing people in. Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, the Eight of Pentacles, okay. The Emperor reversed, and the Seven of Wands. That's interesting. I think this is about the ex. I think the ex has either just come back around or might be about to with the um, Mercury retrograde energy. But I feel like the ex is wanting to come back around in this Three of Cups energy. Like almost pretending to be oblivious to how much they hurt you or to the, to the things that they did or the things that they need to fix. It's, it's almost, and you're like, nah, screw that. <laughs> I bled for this. I worked hard for this. You put me through a lot. You're not coming back around in this three of cups energy. You're not going to come back around and say, hey, how is, how is your day? Let's go out and have a drink. You know, you're, you're telling him or her, you know, you're not going to come back around and just casually take me on a date or casually, you know, waltz back in and pretend like everything's fine. It's like, and this is that energy where it's almost like, I think that you are this person's safe space in a lot of ways. And so you, they almost used you in the past. Like they, I'm not saying they didn't love you. Like they could have loved you, but they almost saw you as like their break from life. If that makes sense. Like they saw you as like this three of cups energy where it's like the, when the real world got hard, they kind of came crawling back to you. Um, or they just wanted everything to be fun in games, even if it was a deep connection, it was still just like they wanted things to be light, but it's like when you wanted to talk about your feelings or see where you stood with them, or if you wanted more of a commitment like marriage or to take things to the next level, it was like drama for them. They would, they would see it as drama at least, and they would kind of back away. It's like they just wanted it to be fun all the time. They didn't want to really put in the full effort for the relationship. And so it's like I feel like this person is coming back around, but I feel like they're coming back around in that same kind of energy where they're 
I mean, they've missed you. I'm sure they've missed you, but it's like they, they almost just want to come back in the Three of Cups energy, you know what I mean? Like they want to come back and just be kind of like casual or just have fun and just see what happens. And you're kind of like, no, screw this. I had very deep feelings for you. I wanted marriage with you. I wanted commitment with you. I wanted maybe kids with you. I wanted more. I, you know, there was, you know, you didn't take my feelings seriously enough in the past. You weren't there for me enough in the past. Hey, random message, but if you have a cat, your cat might be trying to get your attention right now. Your cat might just want your attention in general, or your cat might have a message for you. I mean, animals can telepathically communicate, so your cat might be trying to tell you something. Um, it's my cat just like, I just, I don't know. I just think it's synchronicity. My cat just out of nowhere was like, I have to be on mom's lap right now. I'm like, I'm doing my reading, and he just insisted on jumping up here. So that could be a message for some of you. If you have cats, kind of pay attention to what your cat's doing right now. Um, they might need your attention for one reason or another. But anyway, sorry, let me get back into it. Um, yeah, they're wanting to come back in with this Three of Cups energy, where it's just kind of like, where they kind of aren't taking full responsibility for themselves. It's kind of like, let's just take things slow and see what happens. And you're like, no, like this is something, you see the Seven of Pentacles here, it's like, no, this is something I bled for. This is something I worked hard for. This is something I put myself through a lot. And you're not going to come back and half-ass it. I'm not going to, you know, you're the empress. You're the queen of wands. So you're really powerful and confident right now. Or you're coming into this energy. But I do feel like a very powerful, confident energy for me right now. And a very seductive energy where it's like, you know what you deserve. You, you, you've gotten to that point. You've done the work. You know what you want out of life and out of relationships. And that's kind of manifesting now. You know, you're manifesting love into your life. You're a magnet for love right now. And so you have options. And I think you know you have options. I think that you know you don't have to go back to the ex, that there are other soulmates you could be happy with. And so you're kind of like, you know, why do I want to deal with this? Why would I deal with this again? So yes, I do feel the ex coming back around. But again, it's just, it's still not quite on the same page. It's like, I think they're going to come back around in a kind of light way, kind of casual way. And you're going to be like, no, you're going to give me all or nothing. I'm not going to do this again with you. I'm not going to be a side piece. I'm not going to be there when it's convenient for you. Like, you're going to give me everything or you're going to stay out of my life, you know? And it's kind of like this person is just testing the waters, maybe telepathically communicating here and there or um, sending messages and then being distant. And you're like, no, like you come back all in or you don't come back at all. You know, you're not doing it again with this person, definitely. I mean, you're in, you're either in or you're coming into this very badass energy, this very assertive, confident energy. See, with the devil here, I almost wonder if the ex hasn't really changed all that much, but they're just going to kind of try to pretend like they have. Um, some of them have. I'm not saying that all of them haven't, but I almost feel like this is kind of somebody that has to be whipped into shape. This isn't somebody who's just going to like treat you well on their own and I feel like you know that it's almost like this person has like a childish energy I don't I don't know if childish is, is the right word like they don't really know how to treat women or men however that plays out it's like they don't know how to do relationships very well and so you're going to be mentoring them a lot if you do decide to go down this path you're going to be kind of having to tell them like hey don't do this do that both in bed and also um just in general with their relationship, you're going to have to be constantly telling them like, this wasn't okay, this wasn't okay. You're going to have to have strong boundaries set with this person and those boundaries are going to have to be consistent. So I think your guides are coming through here to let you know like, yes, the ex does want to come back around, but you can't really let your guard down with them right away. You, you have to be careful. Um, you have to not allow yourself to be manipulated by them. You have to make sure that the changes are long term. So if they come back around and this is somebody that you that really hurt you in the past and it's like you're just really excited and happy that they're finally here, that they're finally that you guys are finally talking again, you know, and it's nice to have that person you have a history with be in your life, of course. But it's kind of just like a warning here is like, you know, even if the, even if you guys do try to work through things. Um, you have to keep them on their toes. You can't just relax and get all excited and be like, oh my God, they're finally back. Uh, you know, I missed you. I loved you because it's going to, they're going to take it for granted again. This is somebody who kind of needs to be trained like a puppy. I hate saying that about somebody. Like, I don't like saying that, but it's kind of true. You know, with the devil card, it's like, 
it's like this these old patterns this old obsession or this old however your the relationship used to be it's like this old kind of energy and you're like look at you're this this eight of pentacles this muse you're looking forward you're like no we're not doing that again it's like a power struggle there's a major power struggle coming in with with when this ex comes back in and with eight of pentacles looking forward you're like no we're not doing that again i'm gonna after i do this reading i'm gonna pull cards to see about the new person because i know a lot of you already know who this ex is and you've already decided that you don't want this person so as soon as i get done with this spread i'm gonna pull a second spread to see about this new person because the new person is from what I've been channeling, a lot healthier for you and a lot better long term. And it might be what you want, especially with the Empress Queen of Wands energy. I kind of think that you're growing out of this other person, that you're kind of just above that. But if you do decide to go back with the ex, it's going to be some work. It's definitely going to be some work. See, yeah, this Eight of Pentacles, it's almost it's almost like she's like you're, you're mentoring this person when they come back around. Like, they're trying to be in the Three of Cups, happy-go-lucky, free energy. Like, let's just forget the past, baby. Let's just start over. Let's. And you're like, no, there's things that you did in the past that need to be addressed. I'm not just going to start over from scratch. I'm not going to pretend like that didn't happen. I'm going to make damn sure I don't ever have to go through that again with you. You know, like, you ghosting me or you cheating on me or hurting me or whatever this person did. You're like, no, that's not okay. We're not going to pretend like that didn't happen. But they're coming back in wanting to pretend like none of that happened and just start from scratch. And you're saying no. Um, and then, you know, again, more of a power struggle between you guys where there it's like this devil energy, these old patterns and you're the eight of pentacles. You're looking forward. You're, you're looking away from that. Like you see her, she's got her eyes closed. She's looking away. She's like, no, we're not going to do that old energy again. We're not going back to that again. We're not going back to the same old patterns. We're not going back to me being used or, or abused or, or not treated right. You're going to learn how to treat me the way I want to be treated or you're going to have to get out. Um, and it's kind of like with Eight of Pentacles, you know, it's like about apprenticeship. It's kind of training somebody. It's like being someone's muse. And that's what you are for them. You're this person's muse. But it's kind of also just saying, um, it's like you have to train them. Like you're going to have to teach them how to treat you. You're going to have to remind them of what's okay and not okay. Um... See, with the emperor, again, more of a power struggle it's talking about here. The emperor upright, it's like somebody who wants to be in charge and control and command. They they have their own laws and rules. They, they're they stubborn. They're, um, this is like the strict father figure type, you know? It, it's like the, the somebody that just, you know, my way or the highway person. And you're like, no, screw you. It's actually my way or the highway, not your way or the highway. You're, you're very strong right now, definitely. And you're the one in control, you know, this is, you're defending yourself, you're defending your heart this time, you're being cautious this time around, and I think, again, I, I want to look into the new person, because like I said, I think the new person is a lot better for you than this person is, but some of you are going to go back with the ex, and that's okay, but it's a warning, it's just a warning that, you know, you're going to be in the Son of Wands energy, you're going to, it is going to be a power struggle with this person, it's not going to be an easy road, if it does work out, it's not going to be easy, it's going to be a power struggle, it's, you know, you're going to have to keep them on their toes, their toes, you're going to have to pretty much train them like a little puppy and teach them how to treat you again. And you're going to have to set strong boundaries and you're going to have to make sure you don't lose yourself. Um, this is kind of the connection that you have to be more logical in and less emotional, because if you're too emotional right off the bat, they're going to take you for granted again. And so it's going to be one of, one of those things where you almost have to play a little bit hard to get where you almost have to like teach them how to treat you, you have to stay in this empress queen of wands energy the son of wands energy where you're just you're guarding your heart you're taking it slow you're being careful you're watching them closely observing what they do what they don't do what they say and you're not allowing them to manipulate you into into getting away with the crap that they used to get away with before you know if something offends you or upsets you you're sticking by that this time around you're not just going to let them tell you you're being too dramatic and that you need to keep it light you're going to say no like i want a commitment or i don't want to do this again you know, you, you have to stick to your guns. You have to stand your ground with this person. And you're going to have to do that consistently because, like I said, it's going to be a power struggle for at least a few months. It's going to be a lot of back and forth energy. And you're going to have to stand your ground. And you're going to have to stick with your boundaries above all else. Otherwise, your heart is going gonna, is gonna to lead you to a point where you're going to lose yourself to this person again. And you're going to repeat the cycle. And you're going to go through that heartbreak all over again. So you've really got to be careful with this person. Um... Yeah, so that was just a warning from your guides, basically, about what to expect, you know, and don't get too excited when the ex is coming back around, because 
the fact that they're taught that you guys are talking again or that you're seeing each other or whatever for the first time in a long time it's it doesn't mean that things are all good you know it's there's still a battle ahead if you go with that person but yeah let's look at the new person now though that's okay so let's look into the energy that the new person has that's that's more positive energy and again with you being in the empress and the that um god what was the other card we just got <laughs> I think the queen of wands it was yeah you being in that passionate confident take charge kind of energy where you can just manifest whatever you want in your life you can manifest love you can manifest whatever you want pretty much you you might not want this person anymore you might be tired of the same old same old story with them so for that new person let's see what's going on with that so show me the the situation with the new person because I know, it might not necessarily be a new person, but I, I, I keep getting the energy of somebody who's been watching you on social media for a while, and they just think the world of you. But you might have them friend-zoned, or they might think that you have them friend-zoned, or they might just be worried that, like, you're still talking to the ex, or that they might not be your type. Because it's somebody who just watches you a lot, but, like, maybe you have a friendship, so they're afraid to come forward because they don't want to ruin the friendship. Or it's like they just, they notice you, like, they watch you, they have feelings for you. But they're, um, like, they think the world of you. Maybe they think, it's, it's almost like they just think you're untouchable. Like, you're just too beautiful for them. You're too amazing for them. It's, but it's somebody who's, who would be good for you. You know what I mean? It's somebody who would, like, feel lucky to have you. Like, they wouldn't, this isn't somebody that would take you for granted. This is almost, I don't know why I see somebody with a top hat. I don't know what that's about. It doesn't mean that they literally wear a top hat. I mean, it could be someone who's into steampunk, but it doesn't necessarily literally mean that they are. It could just be, like, a metaphor for somebody. It could just be seeing a metaphor for somebody who's, um, like, a gentleman type, somebody who's kind of old-fashioned and respectful and wouldn't do anything to hurt you. Or female, it's, you know, however it plays out for you. Okay, so this is, yeah? Southern of Swords, so this is the new person. Southern of Swords, Nine of, Nine of Wands, the Chariot, Knight of Swords, the Lovers, this is really good. So this person is coming forward if they haven't already. They don't want to lose you to the ex. They're nervous, but they know that they have to, they know they need to, they've known for a while, like, I keep getting this in the reading where they're like, oh my god, I need to, like, take my chance with this person, <laughs> you know, um, Son of Swords, Knight of Wands, Chariot, Knight of Swords, the Lovers, the World, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Devil. So I feel like this is somebody that's almost, like, at war with themselves a little bit when it comes to you. It's like, look at the Son of Swords, Knight of Wands energy. I feel like they might feel kind of embarrassed about how they feel about you. So that makes sense if it's somebody that you're friends with or just somebody that's watching you on social media. Like maybe you're trying to make somebody else jealous on social media and it's not making that person jealous, but instead it's making this person jealous. Um, I think there's a lot that's unspoken here too. You know, I feel like this is kind of them going back and forth. Like they want to... Again, maybe there's, I feel like, because I keep getting the energy that they're watching you on social media, so maybe there's, like, just miscommunication going on between you guys, where they feel like you just see them as a friend, or they feel like they wouldn't be your type, or they just, they still are just kind of at war with themselves, or maybe they try to, like, give you subtle hints that, that they like you, but you, like, ignore them, or you don't get the hints, like, they try to give you hints, but you don't understand what they're saying, there's just like this miscommunication energy, I feel like maybe they're giving you hints that they like you, but like you don't get what they're trying to say or you don't understand that that's their way of flirting. And so you, you know, you kind of, you don't take the hints and then they feel like that's rejection. And so they're kind of confused because they don't really know where they stand with you. They don't know if you see them as just a friend. They don't know how you feel. And so they're kind of, there's just a lot that's unspoken still, you know, and it's been like that for a while. I feel like this person has been watching you for quite a while and they've had feelings for you for a while, but they don't know what to say. Or maybe if this is somebody that you talk to your ex about, that would also make sense that maybe they're like, maybe you guys talk to each other about like relation, your relationship issues or something. So they're like, well, why is, like, why, why are you talking about that still? Why don't you let that person go, you know? Um... Yeah, something of swords, it's like they want to run away. Like, they feel humiliated. Whatever the reason is, and it's not necessarily your fault. You might not even know that this person likes you. 
you know, you might be missing all the hints that they're giving you. Maybe you, you just haven't stopped to consider that there might be something romantic there um, because you maybe you've been focused on the ex or you've been focused on other areas of your life or just bettering your life. You know, I'm sure you had to do a lot of inner work to get to where you're at now. The being the empress and the queen of wands, that's somebody who's really come out of struggle. They've come out of the fire on the other side of it. Um, but your person, this other secret admirer, it's like they're kind of just struggling with themselves. It's like they kind of want to, they kind of feel embarrassed. They kind of just want to run away from the connection. They're scared. They're like, you know what? If I put myself out there, I'm going to get rejected. I shouldn't do this. But then they get back into this, they go back and forth between this set of swords and the nine of wands energy where they're like, you know what? I need to be strong. I need to be stable for this person. I need to be supportive of them, regardless if they like me like that or not. I need to be consistent with them. I, I'm hoping for success in the end. I'm hoping that this person, you know, sees me as more than a friend. I'm hoping that this person realizes the connection we have. I'm hoping this person lets go of the ex for me. I'm hoping that person takes this chance. It's, it's like they kind of go back and forth between being embarrassed and feeling scared. Like, no, I'm going to get rejected if I put myself out there. And like, you know what? No, I need to be stable. I need to be consistent if I really care about this person. So they're kind of going back and forth. Um, but they are coming forward, I do feel. But again, it's really, it's so up in the air with this person because the problem is, I do, because, okay, the last reading, I, I think it was like the last reading of the reading before last, I was picking up on this person's energy and I think I got that they were they were about to come forward even though they were a little bit shaky. So I kind of feel like maybe they have come forward, but maybe you didn't realize, for a lot of you, not for all of you, but for a lot of you, I think they probably did actually come forward and I think you didn't realize what they were trying to say like maybe they were flirting and you didn't maybe they flirt in like a weird way maybe they're kind of silly when they flirt or maybe they like they're sarcastic when they flirt or something of that sort you know what I mean like maybe they were trying to flirt and show you how they felt but they just it all went wrong like they didn't communicate clearly and strongly enough or they came off the wrong way or just something of that sort um where they you kind of just make them nervous and awkward so it's like they don't really know how to communicate with you and they don't if this is somebody that you talk to, you talk about like your problems with, they don't want to like put their, they don't want their feelings to be a burden for you. You know what I mean? Like if this person is kind of like your rock, like a best friend type, they don't want to like bring you down with their feelings is what I'm getting. Does that make any sense? It's almost like they, how do I explain that? Like if you're going through a lot, they don't want you to feel obligated or responsible for their feelings for you. They, they, they want to focus more on you. This person is very selfless. So this person is somebody who's going to put you first, somebody who's going to, to focus on your issues. Even if they're going through hard times themselves, they're going to put that aside and just focus on what you're going through and try to be there for you and try to help you through it. Um, you know, it's a very caring person, a very strong person. This person's a lot stronger and a lot more loyal and empathetic and loving than the X energy is. So you're basically choosing. You have this love triangle going on, you know, and sooner or later, the story is going to be different for everybody because, you know, I've been getting these, these two energies for a couple months now. The story changes a bit, you know, what what's happening in your story changes, but it's, it's you're in this love triangle still. And, and so you're, you're kind of, um, you know, just at that point where it's like you're you're going to go back to the, the ex that you're familiar with or you're going to step out of your comfort zone and go forward with somebody new who might not be your usual type, but who has been loyal and supportive and loving and has never shown any red flags, you know, only shown green flags with you. Somebody who's who's been supportive even when they got nothing out of in return for it. Somebody who's who's been consistent and loyal with you somebody who's um, not given up on you, you know, somebody that you you intuitively feel that you can really trust, somebody who's proven themselves to you time and time again. You know, it's that kind of loyal, stable energy, which might be unfamiliar to you, but it is healthier long run. Um, and they are, they, they're coming forward strong. I feel like they've been in, at this war with themselves, but I think maybe the hints that they've been dropping are not enough. And it could be something as simple as they like your statuses all the time on, on Facebook or on social media. And they're like, what, like they, I don't know, like they don't, they're, they're not doing enough to show you how they really feel. I think they're just kind of, again, struggling with themselves. But I feel like they're realizing that they need to make more of a bold gesture because they're realizing that, that they're never, that they need to know either way how you feel, you know? Like they need, they want that answer and they don't want to lose you to the ex either. 
whether you guys actually talk about the ex or whether they're just like psychically telepathically aware that you're in this empress energy and that your ex is coming back around and that you could have anyone you want they because they see you as somebody who could have who could date anyone they want and that kind of intimidates them they don't want to lose you they don't want to take too long and have you end up with somebody else so they're coming in pretty strong with this chariot this knight of swords energy you know they're, they're tired of the small talk they want more with you and they it's almost i see the knight of swords as somebody who's like taking this vow of honor and loyalty you know taking this vow to to do right by you to be better than your you know your exes or people from your past have been this is very strong masculine energy this is um fearlessness or somebody who's in masculine energy remember it could be male male it could be female female it could be male female it's however it resonates however it plays out for you but this is somebody who's you know, getting out of this energy, this back and forth, this small talk, the liking your statuses, the the silent stalking. They're like, you know what? I need to be more forward with my feelings. That's what they're that's what they're coming into. That's what they're wanting to do. And look at look at the way look at the lovers card. Like look at the way he's holding her chin. Like he's like, you know what? <laughs> he's like your match. You know what I mean? He's a lot stronger than the ex is. He's so much stronger. He or she is so much stronger than the ex is. They're so much more powerful. They're, you know, psychically, telepathically, mentally, physically, emotionally, just mentally on, on all levels. They're just, they're at your level. This is like your equal, whereas your ex really isn't your equal. They're still childish. They're still playing games. They're still not really completely ready to commit. And it's going to take a lot of training if you if you go with, that, with the ex. It's going to take a lot to get them to the point where they can do anything that even resembles commitment whereas this person right here is already ready for commitment they're they're not backing down they're already in their power they're strong they know what they want they know that they want you they have no doubts about that the only thing that they're having doubt and hesitation about is that they don't know how you feel about them they don't know where they stand with you but regarding their own feelings for you they're sure of their feelings for you they know that they want you they know that they love you there's no doubt in their mind about that um See, look at that. That's just such assertive, strong, like, but it's like romantic. It's sexy. It's loving. It's really, it's good energy. So you might be getting a message. You might be getting more or more forward communication from this person. I don't know if they're going to flat out message you and confess all their feelings, but they might just, they might say more than they've been saying. They might just start talking to you more. Even if they can't find a way to come right out and tell you that they love you or that they want to be with you or whatever, they might just start maybe messaging you more or checking up on you more and asking how your day is. It's that kind of energy, basically. But again, this this energy I get from this secret admirer is so much better than the ex. This person is so much stronger, so much more compassionate, so much braver, um, so much more loyal. I feel like this is the kind of person that doesn't cheat. Like, I don't think they've ever cheated. Or if they did cheat, I think it would have been a long time ago. Like, I don't see that. Well, at least not with you. Like, I shouldn't say that they never cheated. Maybe they did before. I don't know. But with you, I don't see them ever wanting to cheat on you. I see you being more than enough for them. Like, you, they think that you're just the entire package. Like, you're creative and beautiful and strong and unique. And you have so much going for you. Like, they're just, like, your career or hobbies or whatever turn them on, I get, I'm getting. For a lot of you, like whatever it is that you're passionate about that you do, they're just so turned on by that. They're so turned on by the things that like drive you, you know, they see you as a very passionate person. They see you as their equal. And their their wishes are that, you know, that the cycle with the ex is completed, that that whatever cycles you were in before, they their wish is that that's completed, that they can start um, anew with you. You know, they're hoping that you're not in this devil energy of uh, you know obsession or fear or just holding on to, to subconscious patterns or the past they're hoping that you're going to start this new life with them that you're going to step out of your comfort zone and start over with them even if it's unfamiliar even if it's not what you thought you wanted at first even if it's not like what you expected you know what I mean even if it's like a change of plans they're hoping that you're going to take that leap of faith with them because they're taking that leap of faith with you so be mindful of the people that are, are trying to communicate with you more and more um, or messaging you. Maybe if they, they might be awkward, they might stutter, but it's like they're, they are trying and they are coming forward again. This is somebody who's very powerful, very strong, 
Um, you might make them nervous, so it might not come off as, they might not come off as strong around you because you make them so nervous, but they are a strong person. They are coming forward very strongly. Um, even if they start off slow, they they know that they need to communicate in a more direct way because you haven't been picking up the hints. So thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, please like, share, um, and subscribe to me. I, I do these readings regularly.